Hey buddy, it's John with Plant Tech, and today we're going to be doing something quite unique with a little plugin called Q3D. Now this is a 3D plugin for Construct 2, and it will cost you $30. I'm just going to put that up front that this plugin, one of the few in Construct 2, is going to cost you some money, and this one costs about 30 bucks. The link is down below if you want to look at it. There aren't a lot of videos on it or tutorials. And while I'm still wrapping my head around it, I was going to I was going to give you guys the user manual because there is apparently one out there and I'll link that down below so you guys can download it because it's pretty hard to find. And then I'm going to do some short uh, tutorials on this plugin and try to create a, a game using this plugin because a lot of people want Construct 2 to use to do 3D um, because it gives them a lot of you know behaviors and non-coding and everything so that's what we're gonna do um, I'm not gonna pr promise that it's gonna be super awesome but I'm gonna try to do my best to create the best tutorials that I can if you have any questions or requests post them down below and I'll see what I can do I'll play around with it and uh, try to put out some uh, tutorials for this little plugin all right so what I have right here is this is the model or the icon that represents the 3d model this is a light this is what we call the we're gonna, the q3d master that's basically um, allows us to render everything 3D. This is a uh, what we call a 3D Q3D sprite. So think basically think regular sprite, but can be rendered in a 3D scene. So I'm gonna run this layout, put it to full screen, and that's a drop ship. Now we can add a diff it has a diffuse layer, but we can also add a um, specular normal map and all that type of stuff. And then it's also dynamic. Now I'm still learning about this, so I would actually like for the light to be uh, at least like one cube or two cubes. Uh, if we're talking like basically th these three bar things are is, is one of the grid cubes. I would like this to be two or three cubes up, so I'm still playing around with it. But it's actually pretty cool, especially if you're going to do a top-down shooter. Um, and this makes it really easy, especially if you're going to make something for a um, mobile or web type game. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to pull up a blank Construct 2 um, uh, sheet or whatever. And then we're going to make the um, actual game. But I actually want to go over everything in this one first. So I just used a standard. Okay, so we're gonna go File, New, New Empty Project. Click that, boom. Um, also, when you buy the, I really wish there was a demo that at least let you import a 3D model um, or do something so you could you know, try it out. But after you buy it and there's gonna be two folders one's going to be behaviors one's going to be plugins you're going to go into your construct two um basically programs files and then you're going to look up uh, there's going to be behavior file and a plugin file for construct two you're going to drop the new uh behaviors and plugins to an enable 3d and i'll actually put up a separate video for that so you guys can see it today we're just going to be doing the tutorial um that will allow you to have all this stuff and it automatically updates. So you want to exit off any construct two and then reopen it up and it's going to pull it all up. Um, but basically what I have in this file uh, or the new behaviors or Q3D stuff is basically boning. That's for uh, skeletal animations, 3D light, the render or create and control 3D graphics. Do not create more than one. Uh, a Q3D model, a point um, that can represent something. Basically, you know, you can make a uh, collide with a point, and something can happen. A ray casting. This can test for collisions with geometry or whatever. Or, um, whatever. I haven't actually used this um, as of yet. And then the, we have the QD, uh, 3D sprite, and then the viewport 
for split screen and easy control of viewport or 3D rendering. Um, and again, I haven't messed around with that one as of yet. So basically, the code in this is, is very, very simple. It's on start of layout, the Q3D model, set diffuse texture to, uh, actually we don't need uh, that one, sorry guys. Uh, so basically one uh, line of code on, on the model created ca uh, set default map texture to one and play from beginning. When we play it, boom. So basically what I did was Q3D, a model created, model, Um, I actually typed in texture. It says set set texture animation to one. And you want to say diffuse map. Done. And what this does is if we go over here and we click on the actual model is that is that we have told it, okay, we want to um, load up uh, frame animation one, but remember, we have, uh, always remember this guys, when you're naming your animations, it's gonna be called diffuse map, because it's gonna pull, the, okay, so the animation's diffuse map, and then in diffuse map, we're gonna go for frame one, so that's gonna set the texture, it's the way they do it, it's, it does the job, so we're just gonna do it that way. So when it says, okay, set the fuse map, that's uh, the uh, animation. And then in the animation, it's gonna be frame one. So that's basically um, how it's done. So when we run the layout, it pulls up the texture and then I can uh, click and move this light because on the light, if I click on it, I enabled drag and drop so I can have a dynamic light setup. So there we go. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do this in um, another one so I can just import, uh, not import everything, but I want to show you guys how it's done. So we're going to insert a new object. We're going to insert a floor. So it's going to be a Q3D sprite. Boom. And I'm going to stretch this over the floor. Okay, now I'm going to import uh, a texture. So I'm going to open, and this part may be grayed out. Um, Let's see. Let's choose a basic tile. So that will do. Exit and boom. There we go. So what I want to do is just size that down. Now what we're going to do is we're going to insert a new object and it's going to be a Q3D master. And this will be, uh, it actually won't render. This is just going to render the scene. Insert new object, uh, Q3D model. And this only imports uh, JavaScript models and OBJ models. So what we're going to do is go to uh, file Actually, not that. Um, we actually have to go to files. So on projects in the bottom, it's going to say import file, and this will allow us to import stuff. Now, this may be grayed out, but I'm going to type in .obj, and it's going to pull up some stuff. Um, I have a Doom Marine um, that I pulled out of, I think, Doom 3, so I'm going to use that. And then what I'm going to also do is import 
dot o let's see dot o v j and this is going to be a drop ship Okay, so how do we actually get this to work? How do I get my 3D model onto here? Because if I run it now, oops, wrong scene. Um, we actually need to set this to be viewed through the Windows. So in w.js, we're going to run this. Um, make it big screen. All you can see is wireframe. So what you actually want to do is click on this and in the Uh, where is it? General properties. There we go. Um, bounding box and cloud box. This is just for us viewing it now, but you want to actually set those off and then you want to set this to be textured um, and then use model. You want to set that to be yes. And then on model file name, this is where we choose what we're going to be, what this um, item is. So it's going to be my OBJ. And then I'm going to just change it to be drop ship, paste that dot obj. So when we run it, it's going to load up our 3D model. Now what I'm going to do is now texture it, and then we'll work on it um, so it actually looks correct and everything. So at this point, it's a Q3D model. On created, create 3D model, um, set, set texture, and I think it's going to be one on uh, just one second. Okay, we have to just change that from default to rename that to one second. Uh, we have to click the model again and uh, I think it was diffuse map. Rename this to diffuse map. Hold on one second guys. Okay. Rename that, paste that, diffuse map. Okay. And this diffuse map, or remember, um, the icon, the reason why it was not showing in an icon in the event sheet was that we actually have nothing. So animation zero is nothing, so it's going to show nothing. So right now we're going to actually look up um, a texture we can apply to this. So once we have our diffuse map, okay, so it set it, that icon to the texture and diffuse map back and set it to frame, uh, it's actually going to be frame zero, not one. Done. Run it. you can see it is now textured it's just facing weird now but now what we have to do is rotate it model rotation x y's and this is kind of the weird part you just have to play around with the rotation we also have to add a light so we're going to insert a new object it has to be a q3d light run it And it's not drag and droppable.
this point you're just going to basically um, bring, playing around with it until you get it correct. Which is kind of annoying, but I'm going to cheat and show you guys the uh, right coordinate system. So I rotated mine on the X coordinate on 270. You may not have to, but it seems I have to. So if we run the layout. There we go. Now to get this to be drag and droppable, go to behaviors, add, drag and drop. X, run the layout. We now have a dynamic object, which is actually kind of cool. All right, guys, um, hopefully that explains some stuff. Uh, I know it probably wasn't the best tutorial out there. I'm going to see how you guys like this. I'm going to edit it. Um, I may end up redoing it. First time, I really like this plugin. I'm going to be doing some more where I actually import, you know, objects so we can do a top down, um, you know, shooter and then export it to like Windows, Android, all that type of stuff and to Newgrounds um, and show you guys how to do a little simple video game, some animated objects. So you take a, a 3D door, you have it move and everything. Um, again, New to this, decided to do a whole bunch of tutorials for this. Hopefully you guys will like it. Sorry if the quality is not awesome. And I will see you guys in the next video.